I might burn down my house today. Hi, I was informed that there was, pre that there was pretzel dough or like at least like pretzel dough mix in my house. And because I'm hungry and I have no common sense, I'm making pretzels. I need one pouch of pretzel dough mix. I got that. One cup of warm water. One cup of warm water, 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. I have to... <laughs> I... Is the water that's in here good? When was the last time the kettle was used? I don't want to test it. Not in my presence. Okay. How much water? One cup. I'm just gonna put water in here. Yes, the camera is positioned right above my sink. Deal with it. It's also technically positioned on my windowsill because it was the only place that I could put it where I knew it would stay. So, I can see the outside world. I don't care for it, but you know, I can see it. It's still there. I, oh my gosh, this got heavy. Why do I have weak baby arms? Actually, I know exactly why. It's because I don't do sports. Baking soda mi mixture. Four cups of water. They don't have to be warm though. And four teaspoons of baking soda. Where is the baking soda? Hang on. Nope. I feel like it's up here with, you know, the baking soda. Baking soda. But I don't need, I don't even need the baking soda mixture for a while. Okay. Look. I bought a hair tie. Yeah, alright. We're gonna fill this with four cups. Egg wash. One egg and one tablespoon of water. How much water is going in this in total? Oh, that is, a, that is a bit more than four cups. One sec. Do I need to learn to pay attention? Just a little bit. But it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm not gonna burn down my house. Well, I might, actually. I'm gonna try not to burn down my house. There is five cups and one tablespoon of water. How many tablespoons in a cup? 16 tablespoons in a cup. Eighty-one tablespoons? Eighty-one tablespoons. Right? I can do math. Right! I need an egg. <laughs> One egg. And more water! This is a lot of work just to get eight pretzels. Reheat the oven to 400 degrees, but that's step three. I'm not even done with step one, because the water hasn't boiled yet. It hasn't started screeching at me, telling me that it's boiling. Turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface. Knead the dough for about five minutes or until it's smooth and elastic. Place the dough into a lightly oiled bowl and cover. Let rise for 25 minutes. The dough will not double in size. So I have to wait 25 minutes before I can even put them in the oven. And then there's four other steps after they even go in the oven. Oh, why did I get four cups of why did I get four cups of water out now? It's not necessary till step four. I have to wait like 30 minutes for that. Actually, wait, how long do they even bake? Oh, they don't bake in step three. I just preheat the oven. All this work for eight pretzels. I could have eaten. Two bowls of ramen by this by now. Oh. Oh, this is dumb. Why'd I pull an egg out? 
know. I don't even need the egg. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm just gonna set the. F I'm just gonna set the egg in the fridge and wait till it's actually needed. <laughs> and there's not really any point in having the baking soda out either, is there? Okay, if you can't tell, it's almost done. It hasn't done like that whistling thing yet though, so I'm gonna wait till it dies. But I have to put it in a bowl. And considering I don't know how much I'm going to get out of this, I have a rather large bowl. Yeah. I mean, it's whistling. I don't know where to set this so that <laughs> it can be seen. I can't hold it the entire time. Okay. Okay. Calm down now. How much? Okay, one cup. Okay. Now I'm supposed to mix it. This does not... I don't... It, it doesn't really look like a dough right now. It's just a bunch of, it, it's it's just a bunch of like clumps. Like it's not, also yes, I am doing this over my sink. Cause like I said, it's the only place that I can put my camera without it falling over. So it should not take this much effort to make food, especially when it's not my job. Like I understand if you're a chef, cause like that's your job and I'd hope you're like passion or whatever. But this isn't mine. My passion is eating the food, not making it. But okay. It's just, it's very crummy, but I think if I, what did it say, lightly floured? Smooth the dough on, onto a lightly floured surface. Is there flour in here? I found it wash down the entire surface and then I'll put the flour on it and then we'll do all of that that's about as good as it's gonna get really yeah all right So now, I don't really want to touch it, but like, okay. We're gonna just start. It's just so crummy. It's warm though. I mean, considering I put boiling hot water into it, I'm not that surprised, but it is. Is, do I put all of it on the counter at once? Cause I feel like I shouldn't. Ooh, this is really warm actually. Ugh. I mean, it's not the worst thing. It's not that different from like making like sugar cookies or so or whatnot. It's just the fact that, well, one is warm. I should not be allowed to do this. This might take a minute, I'll be honest. Okay, I think this might be about as good as I'm gonna get it. Oh geez, yeah, okay. Oil, what, what kind of oil? Baking oil, vegetable oil, got a bowl. What do I oil it with though? Do I do canola oil? Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me, I mean, Canola oil is like, 
It's what you put on pans so that when it bakes, it doesn't stick. I feel like when you're cooking it. I, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, we're just, yep, all right. We're gonna put you right on in there and then cover it. Wait, isn't there a container for this? Or not a container, isn't there a lid for this? Wait a minute, hold up. One sec. I'm throwing stuff. I don't know what this is. That is not what this is. <laughs> nope. Nope. Aha! I was right. Okay. Never mind. This isn't needed. Okay. Do I refrigerate it or do I just let it sit? I just let it sit for 25 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna leave this out 25 minutes. And then I'll be back. Okay. It's been 25 minutes. Now it's time to check it. And it doesn't, doesn't look like it did much, but okay. Uh, so what do I, bring it the oven to 400 degrees, place the dough onto a clean mat and divide them into eight pieces, keeping them separate so they don't stick. Okay. I did lay out parchment paper, so. They seem to be pretty even. They seem to be fine. To make the baking soda mixture, combine the water and baking soda in a large bowl. Microwave on high for five minutes. Carefully remove the bowl from the microwave and mix to combine. Four tablespoons. Weird. Okay. Can you see it? Oh, you can. Okay. Four tablespoons? Four tablespoons. Ah. And then combine them. Add a large spoon. It looks like really watered down milk. Microwave on high for five minutes. Carefully remove the bowl from the microwave and mix to combine. The oven is all preheated now, but I think I have to actually make the pretzel shapes. At the moment, roll a piece of dough into a rope. Into a rope that's 15 inches long and three and a half inches thick. Repeat with the remaining dough pieces and then it just make the shape. I'm just gonna do this. Well, I think you know what this means. It's time for another montage. Look at, I made a pretzel. It actually looks not bad. Now I've just gotta make seven more.
There we go. Eight pretzels. They're not all pretty, but it's fine. Dip the pretzel into baking soda mixture for a few seconds, then place it on a sheet pan. Repeat with the remaining dough rolls. That's what the mixture's for. Okay. Need a pan. I feel like it'd be easier if I had like. Ah. Oh, these are big. Oh, come back. Oh, huh, it's still kind of hot. Now I gotta do that egg wash thing. Beat the egg with the water and brush the mixture with the pretzels. That's an egg. Now I'm washing my hands because I absolutely despise the feeling of egg yolk on my hands. I think I actually have a, I do. I have a tool for this. I feel like I should like mix it with a fork or something. Okay. Egg wash. I've been working with on this for like an hour now. I just for these stupid pretzels. I was hungry an hour ago. I'm still hungry. Which I guess is good because it means that I'm going to eat the pretzels. This this is that ah, this is a lot of work just for pretzels. Like I could have just <laughs> in a quarter of the amount of time it takes for me to make these, I could have just gone to the store and bought frozen ones. I, I could have. I, I truly, I truly could have. Yet here I am baking. But, you know, it's okay. Because you gotta make the most of situations. And this is free content. You get a video. And I guess I also get a video because... I have to do less. Now what? Add salt or other seasonings. Okay. That might have been a bit too much salt, but it it's fine. Bake for 18 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. And we're finally we're done with you. Parchment paper is the one that can go in. I think they're done. Wait a minute! Wait! <laughs> I know. Give me a second. Look at them. I am so happy with this. It is very hot though, actually. I mean, it did just come out of the oven, but it's very hot. These are actually really good. Wait a minute. Oh, that's really good. We did it! We won! Mission successful. I'm a god. That took me forever, but... I'd say it was worth it. It, yeah. That, that's really good. Hot. Looks really good. I'm happy. Never doing it again though. I can I can tell you that right now. We're never doing this again. But I think we're done here. It took me about like an hour and a half to make these pretzels. Now I have to get back to recording the video that I was recording previously before these, before I realized how long these would take me. So as always, with my awful outros. Bye-bye!